if you're new to jiu-jitsu, have never tried jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Um, you know, there's the self-defense aspect. People want to do it because of self-defense. Big time. I think. I mean, that's how I got into it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. For yeah. self-defense. I didn't get into it for competition. I didn't even know there was competition. Yeah, me neither. When I first started training in Hawaii, um, buddy introduced to me, started rolling around on the ship. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, you were on a ship. That's how you. I was on a got ship. Yeah, yeah, my my buddy. Um, he was a blue belt, and we trained uh, in Hawaii, but we started on a ship, and he like invited me down. And that's how it started. And then that's what we were talking about. How if you don't train jujitsu, how an experienced blue belt or purple belt or black belt or higher or whatever can make you feel like a baby on the mats. And for those who don't know about the belts, it's a white belt, blue belt, um, purple, purple belt. brown, black. Black belt. But this is the difference between most martial arts and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Going from white to blue isn't just a couple months. It's going to take you at least a year. And I think for most, probably a year and a half. A dedicated year. A dedicated year. It's not a one time a week kind of thing. And that's from somebody with no experience. I'm not talking about a wrestler or somebody with a judo background. I'm talking about someone off the street has never trained well, jujitsu or grappling. It takes yeah. about a dedicated year or yeah. like a year and a half. Well, that's how I was when I first started training. You know, I had no experience and I was one of those kids who like, Oh, like, you know, like a one-hitter quitter kind of thing. Like, if I ever get in a fight, I'll know what to do. Yeah. I was one of those. And I think then, most people are like that. Yeah, you know. Well, I'll just punch them. I'll punch them one time and go to sleep. It's never like that. The funny thing is, yeah. from making, you know, these uh, videos and stuff, the comments you get on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I would just do this. I would never go to the ground. Oh, the ground is the last place you want to that, be. That's why I started training. And I think, <laughs> I think GSP said that, too. You know, a street fight, 80 to 85% of street fights end up on the ground. But the thing is, you don't have to be on the ground. When you're the one taking somebody down, you yep. take them down and you're on your feet. You don't have to go on the ground and finish it. That's true. You can finish it with a kick or a punch. Yeah. It's not like rolling around on the ground. And in practice, we do that because it's mm -hmm. totally different. We're not, you know, when we're rolling, it's, it's not for pure self-defense. It's more for, uh, you know, like developing your, yeah. your, your technique for competition. Or, yeah, or sport. Sports sport. jiu-jitsu. So there's a difference between sport and self-defense, and what most people see is sport. And yeah. they're like, oh, I just see some guys rolling around on the ground. I'd yeah. never do that on the street. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, and we know that. You know, <laughs> As you develop, you, you know what you can and can't do. So that's the funny thing. On the and street. then you get the people, well, I trained jiu-jitsu before. I went to a class. Oh, I went to a one-week one one trial, and that's all we did was roll around. Yeah. And yeah, I was beating up everybody. I was beating up the black belt, but you know, like you're not gonna have a new, you know, we're not gonna have a new guy come in here, and we're not gonna completely dismantle them because then they, you know, they won't come back. They won't come back, and they're gonna feel discouraged, you know. Exactly, guys. Naturally. So if you're one of those guys that trained for a week or two. Oh, you know, it was ego. That's what we started. Yeah, we're talking about ego. Ego. I was one of those kids with a with a big ego, you know, um, coming in here. You know, trying to take on the world, and if I got beat up, I got upset. I was stomping around. I was one of those. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's a lot of it. Yeah, but yeah. I was in Hawaii, so at least we had the Aloha vibe going, which helped out. Did you live there? Yeah, I lived there for uh, three and a half to four years. Um, I trained under a Helsin Gracie Jiu Jitsu black belt. So before you got into Jiu Jitsu, you were, you were, you were already living there. And yep. Hawaii's pretty rounded from right here. I mean, yeah, it can be. It can, it be, can right. be at times, but it's like one of those things where like you, you think everyone trains, but then you, know, you, you get into a gym and you see who, you know, who really knows what they could do. Luckily, I never got in a situation. It's the local people, right? It's, uh, so yeah, you know, it's, it's local. For surf spots and stuff? Yeah, well, I mean, that's more North Shore, in my opinion, because, you know, down, downtown Waikiki is like a tourist thing, so that's where everyone's going. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the same time, it's a lot of military, too, because, you know, they're in Hawaii and everything. They're like, oh, this is my island. It's, it's, fun. it's a funny thing, but like I said, it's just ego. Ego, ego, ego. Yeah. And, you know, coming through jujitsu, you know, in the ranks, I've been training for about eight years now uh, with three deployments, and, um, you know, your ego goes away. Jiu-Jitsu calms you down. Big time. Yep. But it's not like a tranquilizer. It's not like no, of it doesn't not. have those kind of side effects. It's a, <laughs> they're all positive. Yeah, it's good. No, it's good. I love it, you know. I mean, you've been doing it for how long now? Uh, since 1996, formal training. Okay. Since and and how has your experience been from like when you first stepped in to now, what you know? <sighs> it's a lot of years. It's like 20 years. Yeah, it's, it was a different, it was different in the 90s. I mean, okay. there wasn't like a lot of competition, there wasn't a lot of tournaments, hardly any tournaments at all. Oh yeah, huh? So it was totally different yeah. than now. I mean, it's a different culture. That was before San Diego took over the world, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in 1996, there was probably two, 
two gyms, two academies, two or three maybe. In San Diego? In San Diego. Oh my I God. mean, Nelson Montoya had his in Del Mar. Fabio Santos had his. How many are there now, you think? There's, like 50? There's, there's probably over 50. Yeah. I mean, just up here in North County alone. Downtown San Diego, you know, San Diego, same, like San Diego, San Diego is low. Yeah, it's, it's grown, man. It's Jiu Jitsu capital of the world. Southern California. That's what they say. Yep. So, what about LA? Would you consider LA part of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So, LA down. <laughs> yeah. LA, yeah, it's huge too. Oh, yeah. It's huge in LA, but I think LA, I think LA was first with the uh, Hardy on Gracie, of course. Yeah, naturally. And that was the first, first one. And then it kind of spread out a little bit. Yeah, big time. Yeah. But yeah, if you've never tried Jiu Jitsu, man, you, I mean, give it a shot. I, I'd say give it a, a solid, solid way. Nothing like any other martial art. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. Yep. So if you've done karate or kung fu, don't it's, me, it's totally different. Don't get me started on that, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. It's the way we train. I mean, it's in real. karate and a lot of striking arts, you can't go 100% because you're going to hurt your training partner. Jiu Jitsu, we're not punching. No kicks. Same with wrestling. I mean, wrestlers are, are I think they do well in UFC and, and jiu-jitsu guys because they're used to going 100%. Body to body. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. they, they know how someone's going to react in real time. Mm -hmm. And when, in karate, and well, boxing, they go 100% too because they have gloves on head gear head and all gear. that. Yeah. It's, you know. It's a different type of... Who know? wants to get their head bashed in? You freaking won't be able to, you'd be like, you know, <laughs> you'll lose your mind at 50 if yeah. you start at 20. I was that guy. I don't think anymore. I was that guy when I moved out here to California. Um, uh, besides Mark, we have another professor, uh, Martin, and he loves telling this story. I'm sure you've heard it. I, I came into his gym saying I want to be a UFC fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so we threw on some gloves. It was me. I forgot who I was with, but we threw on some gloves, and I got hit in the face once. And then at that moment, I realized I don't want to be a UFC fighter. <laughs> at that moment, I was like, you know what? I'll just stick to jujitsu. Let's get this going. Exactly, so, man. That, 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 that was my short career. I don't least. know anybody. You got to be a little bento if you want to get punched in the face. All the time. Even kicked day. in the leg. It freaking yeah. hurts. Yeah, I've been kicked in the leg. So Black and blue. You can only do that for so many years. You know, jiu-jitsu you can do for, for Forever. a long time because I mean, it's easier on your body. and it's still, How, how old's know? Will? 65? Will, 67. 67 just started last year. Just started. Yeah. Still going. Still going. You, you've probably seen the Will video. It's... Uh, has been posted in the last two weeks. Jiu-Jitsu keeps you young. Keeps the and there's John, too, who's, uh, I forget how old he is, 61, 62? Mm -hmm. I did a video with him. Okay, we got Vadim, too. Uh-huh. I don't know how Vadim is, though. He's not old, not older than me. Okay, well, I mean, look at you, Mark. Happy birthday, too. You're still in here every day. 53 guys. Looking like a stud. I've been doing it for 20 <laughs> years, and there's some secrets to longevity in yeah. Jiu-Jitsu, and we were talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't like gripping a lot. Because gripping hurts my hands, and you know your your fingers get all freaking ugly too. Sausage you fingers. Get, sausage fingers is like, like cauliflower ear. Yeah. And if you, I don't have cauliflower ear either. Um, mm -hmm. Play it smart. I don't like that. I don't like that stuff, man. Yeah, that's what I was telling Mark. Like, if you decide to train jujitsu, kiss your hands goodbye. Because every time, like, I I hold them next to my ear, I hear a crack in both of them all every day. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I would, by hands. I would limit the gripping. Yeah. Like you don't to. have to grip. But gripping does help, but you don't grip as much. Anyway, we're going to roll, guys, and uh, you can watch us roll a little bit. <laughs>